Good morning, brothers and sisters. To prepare ourselves for the Mass, let us have a short mindfulness meditation. Start by sitting tall and closing your eyes. Inhale slowly and imagine warm air filling your lungs like a soft breeze. Exhale slowly as if you are releasing a spark into the air. Inhale and breathe in warm air. Exhale and transform the tiny spark into a fire. Let's do this once more. Inhale. Exhale. Picture in your mind the fire now glowing in front of you. This is the light and warmth from our God. Let us spend a few moments more to soak in His presence. On All Saints' Day, the Church remembers all those who are with Christ in glory. The Jesuits celebrate on November 5 the Feast of All Saints and Blessed of the Society of Jesus. It recalls the memory not only of those who have already received the Church's official honors, but also of those many others who have worked with Christ for the salvation of people and who, following Him in His sufferings, have entered with Him in glory. In our Eucharistic celebration today, as we remember all Jesuit saints and blessed, we will pray for and honor the memory of our ancestors and Paul Shi Kuang Chi, who died on November 8, 1633. He was a scholar and a government official in Shanghai and a friend of the Jesuit missionary of Jesuit missionary Matteo Ricci. He was converted and was baptized as a Roman Catholic in 1603. His valuable support to the Jesuit missionaries has led many Chinese people to better understand and accept Christianity. Within the Mass, we shall have a Catholic rite of ancestor veneration that will follow the homily. In this rite, we will honor and pray for our dearly, dearly departed relatives and friends using traditional Chinese symbols as well as Christian prayers. In doing this practice, may we be inspired by the good example of those who went before us to persevere in the midst of difficult and trying times. Presiding over our celebration this morning is Father Aristotle D. of the Society of Jesus. Now, as one community, united in mind and heart, let us raise our voices praising God. Let us join in singing our entrance song.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As we begin our celebration today, let us pause for some moments and call to mind the times when we have not followed Jesus closely. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who willed that your only begotten Son, having conquered death, should pass over into the realms of heaven, grant, we pray, to your departed servants that with the mortality of this life overcome, they may gaze eternally on you, their Creator and Redeemer. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us listen to the word of God. First reading. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. But righteous people are protected by God and will never suffer torment. It is a foolish mistake to think that righteous people die and that their death is a terrible evil. They leave us, but it is not a disaster. In fact, the righteous are at peace. It might appear that they have suffered punishment, but they have the confident hope of immortality. Their sufferings were minor compared with the blessings they will receive. God has tested them like gold in a furnace and found them worthy to be with him. He has accepted them just as he accepts the sacrifices which his worshippers burn on the altar. When God comes to reward the righteous, they will blaze out against the wicked like fire in dry straw. They will rule over nations and peoples, and the Lord will be their king forever. Those who have put their trust in God will come to understand the truth of His ways. Those who have been faithful will live with Him in His love, for He is kind and merciful to the ones whom He has chosen. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let the response be, The Lord is my shepherd, I have everything I need. The Lord is my shepherd, I have everything I need. The Lord is my shepherd, I have everything I need. He gives me rest in green pastures. He leads me to calm water. He gives me new strength. The Lord is my shepherd, I have everything I need. For the good of his name, he leads me on paths that are right. Even if I walk through a very dark valley, I will not be afraid, because you are with me. Your rod and your shepherd's staff comfort me. The Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. You prepare a meal for me in front of my enemies. You pour oil of blessing on my head. You give me more than I can hold. The Lord is my shepherd, I have everything I need. Surely your goodness and love will be with me all my life, and I will live in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my shepherd, I have everything I need. Let us honor the Holy Gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Come, you are blessed by my Father. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you. 
from the foundation of the world. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Son of Man comes in his glory with all his angels, he will sit on his royal throne. The people of all nations will be brought before him, and he will separate them as shepherds separate their sheep from their goats. He will place the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, My father has blessed you. Come and receive the kingdom that was prepared for you before the world was created. When I was hungry, you gave me something to eat. And when I was thirsty, you gave me something to drink. When I was a stranger, you welcomed me. And when I was naked, you gave me clothes to wear. When I was sick, you took care of me. And when I was in jail, you visited me. Then the ones who pleased the Lord will ask, When did we give you something to eat or drink? When did we welcome you as a stranger, or give you clothes to wear, or visit you while you were sick or in jail? The king will answer, Whenever you did it for any of my people, no matter how unimportant they seemed, you did it for me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us now listen to the homily. The theme of our Mass today is praying for our ancestors. And I think we have two kinds of ancestors, and I'd like to reflect on that with you today. First, we have our biological ancestors, our elder elders, people in our families who have already died, who have already passed away. What happens when we die? Maybe you have had pets that have died. No? And then people also die. It's a natural part of life when the body no longer works, when the various organs of the body, one or more of them, no longer work like your heart. Then the body cannot function anymore and then death is the effect. But unlike animals, human beings have souls. We believe that there is life after death. There is life beyond death because our soul lives on. And we want our soul to go to the Father's house, to heaven, which is described by Jesus in, in the Gospels as being like a big, big house with many rooms. How do we get there? We get there by trying to live a good life. As Jesus told us in the Gospel, whatever we do to other people, especially the poor and the suffering, we do it to Jesus. And when we live a lifetime of being good and doing good, then at the end, when there is a judgment and Jesus, as in the story, will separate the good from the bad, we want to be with the good group that will end up to be with God forever in heaven. So maybe in some of your families, even if you're still quite young, you have already experienced death when a parent or a grandparent, an aunt, an uncle, or somebody has passed away. So when your relatives die, they become your biological ancestor, an older generation that has already passed away, people related to you by blood. And we are grateful to them because without them, we will not be here today. We will not have our life today without the suffering, the life, the contribution of our ancestors. So we pray for them that they will already be in heaven, in the Father's house for all eternity. So that's the first one, the biological ancestor. Second, we also have spiritual ancestors. We also have elders who may not be related to us by blood, but their contribution is so important in that community that we are also grateful to them. We also will not be here if not for them. As Christians, as Catholics, we look to all the saints as our spiritual ancestors because they were also human beings like you and me, and they tried their best to follow Jesus. 
to be holy, to do good deeds, to take care of others as Jesus enjoins us in the gospel. And the, the church recognizes them and says, they are such good people, they must surely be in heaven. So they are our spiritual ancestors and they may have lived decades, centuries ahead of us. So among those saints, you will have St. Ignatius, St. Francis Xavier, and all the saints, your class patrons, they are part of that group, our spiritual ancestors. Closer to home, we can think of Paul Xi Kuang Chi. No, he's not yet a canonized saint, but we take our name, our Chinese name of the school from him because we also recognize him as a good person, a holy person, a smart guy, a scientist who during his time in China when Christianity was not yet widespread, he accepted Jesus. He became a Christian and he worked with Matteo Ricci, who is known in Chinese as Li Mato, while Paul Si Kuang Chi, we know Kuang Chi, the name of our school, Si Kuang Chi, they worked together not only to exchange cultural and scientific ideas, but to spread the gospel. And the fact that our school is named after them means that they continue to inspire us today. And then fast forward, you have the founders of our school, people like Father John de Sotel, Father Zuluaga, who was our longest serving school president or director. We even have Zuluaga Hall named after him. They are also people who live closer to our time, who are our spiritual ancestors because they contributed so much to establishing Savior School and the community that we have today. So there you have it. We have both biological and spiritual ancestors. Every November, it's the traditional time to pray for them, that they may all be at peace with God. But you know, we don't only pray for them, we also pray to them because they're already with God. They're already in heaven, in God's house, and in that special place, they can pray for us. Whatever is happening in our lives, whatever our intentions might be at this moment, they can bring that before God, and they can be our powerful intercessors. So in a short while, we will have the Chinese Catholic rites for venerating our ancestors, which is a way of using cultural symbols to express our prayers for them and to them. So not only today, but throughout this month, let us keep all of them in mind, our biological and spiritual ancestors who continue to inspire us today. We pray for them and to them. We shall now have the rite of ancestor veneration. Please stand straight as a mark of respect. Now, we will venerate our ancestors. They are godly persons whose virtues have not been forgotten, and for all time their glory will never be blotted out. Their bodies are peacefully laid away, but their name lives on and on. At gatherings, their wisdom is retold, and the assembly proclaims their praise. The incense is now lighted. The flowers are now offered. The wine is now offered. The fruits are now offered. 
God wills that we remember our ancestors and honor the memory of our deceased relatives and friends. Let us now ask our Heavenly Father to bless them in paradise as we pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us also beg the intercession of our Holy Mother Mary, that she may pray for their eternal happiness. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Finally, let us pray the glory be for them, that they may join the saints in the heavenly kingdom, and together sing the praises of the Holy Trinity. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Now at each sound of the gong, we shall render the three ceremonial vows to revere our ancestors. Please remain standing for the prayer of the faithful. For our ancestors and all our deceased relatives and friends, may the Lord receive them in the heavenly kingdom and give them their share of eternal happiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the dead, especially those who have no one to pray for them, may God in his infinite mercy Give them a place among his sons and daughters. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace and unity in all our families, and that we may one day be reunited with our friends and loved ones in heaven. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our church, that we may be blessed with more vocations, especially for the mission in China. We pray that missionaries around the world will continue to be faithful servants of Christ amidst the many challenges that are present nowadays. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our country, may we all work together to get through all the crises that are happening in our nation. May we all be selfless and set aside personal agendas in order to prioritize the welfare of other people, especially the oppressed and marginalized. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Savior School community, may we be one in expressing our loving concern for and solidarity with the people affected by different forms of suffering, especially those gravely affected by the current pandemic. May our school administrators, faculty and staff, students, and our families become true witnesses of our faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, Lord, prayer. Hear our prayer. In silence, let us tell God our personal prayers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Merciful Father, you are the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and the God of our ancestors. Hear the prayers of our big family, and let all our ancestors rest peacefully in your bosom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the Eucharist. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness you have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray
pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, on the sacrificial offerings we present to you for the souls of your servants. And just as you have bestowed on them the dignity of Christian faith, grant them also its reward. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. God our Father, you have brought us here together so that we can give you thanks and praise for all the wonderful things you have done. We thank you for all that is beautiful in the world and for the happiness you have given us. We praise you for daylight and for your word which lights up our minds. We praise you for the earth and all the people who live on it, and for our life which comes from you. We know that you are good, you love us and do great things for us. Father, you are always thinking about your people. You never forget us. You sent your son Jesus, who gave his life for us, and who came to save us. He cured sick people. He cared for those who were poor, and wept with those who were sad. He forgave sinners and taught us to forgive each other. He loved everyone and showed us how to be kind. He took children in his arms and blessed them. God, our Father, all over the world, your people praise you. So now we pray with the whole church, with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Cardinal Archbishop, in heaven, the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Apostles, Saints Ignatius of Loyola, Francis Xavier, and Peter Faber, our class patrons, and all the saints always sing your praise. Now we join with them and with the angels, to adore you with one voice. Holy holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please place your right hand over your heart as a sign of prayerful reverence. God, our Father, you are most holy, and we want to show you that we are grateful. We bring you bread and wine and ask you to send your Holy Spirit to make these gifts the body and blood of Jesus, your Son. Then we can offer to you what you have given to us. On the night before he died, Jesus was having supper with his apostles. He took bread from the table. He gave you thanks and praise. Then he broke the bread, gave it to his friends and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice that was filled with wine. He thanked you, gave it to his friends, and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. We do now what Jesus told us to do. We, re we remember his death and resurrection, and we offer you, Father, the bread that gives us life and the chalice that saves us. Jesus brings us to you. Welcome us as you welcome him. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. You may now put down your hand. Father, because you love us, you invite us to come to your table. Fill us with the joy of the Holy Spirit as we receive the body and blood of your Son. Lord, you never forget any of your children. We ask you to take care of those we love, especially those who are sick and suffering in any way. And we pray for those who have died. Remember everyone who is suffering from pain or sorrow. Remember Christians everywhere and all the other people of this world. We are filled with wonder and praise when we see what you do for us through Jesus, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so let us come to him as we pray in the words that Jesus himself taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, and protect us from all anxiety, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Jesus also said, As the Father loves me, so I have loved you. If we try like Jesus to make people glad and happy, we will be his good friends, and his joy and peace will be with us forever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please place your right hand over your heart as a sign of prayerful reverence. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my, my soul, soul shall be healed. You may now put down your hand. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you're in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Through the sacrificial gifts which we have received, O Lord, bestow on your departed servants your great mercy. And to those who have endowed with the grace of baptism, grant also the fullness of eternal joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata against COVID-19. Merciful and compassionate Father, we ask for your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed our lives. 
Kindly look upon us with love, and by your healing hand, dispel our fears, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. Please guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines already developed, which we hope will soon bring an end to the pandemic. We pray for the health, well-being, and protection of our healthcare workers as they minister to the sick with their competence and compassion. Restore the health of those who are afflicted, protect those who care for them, and grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace of openness to help those in need. May this concern and compassion see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray, pray for, for us. us. Let us acknowledge the different departments and individuals who helped make this celebration possible. The Social Science Department and Grade School Chinese Department, our mass sponsors, the Grade School Principal's Office, the Physical Plant Office and the Riders, the Next ITS Office, the Music Department, Mr. Michael De Los Reyes, our student readers, Jaden Garlitos, Relaya Salvador, Sean So, Anzel Tanchip, Julian Fernandez, Sean Talamayan, J.V. Ang, the Campus Ministry and Service Office, and our presider, Father Aristotle D. of the Society of Jesus. Let us now listen to our school president as he gives his message to the community. Good morning to everyone. I hope you all had a very good semester break, more than one week of uh, time to rest, to re-energize yourselves uh, in order to continue with the second half of our second term of the school year. We only have about six weeks in, in this uh, second half of the term before the Christmas break. So I hope you are, you're all feeling very refreshed and can work hard and focus on your studies in these coming weeks. Yesterday, there was a circular sent out to everyone, to all your parents uh, and the alumni, inviting you to participate in the Christmas drive for charity. So this is something we do every year. Actually, for the past several months, many of you have been sending donations to our community pantry in Saber School to help our uh, maintenance staff, our guards during this time of pandemic. Now we ha have our Christmas drive that will help not only them, but also those in need at this special time of the year, especially the charitable institutions run by Jesuits and also the victims of recent natural calamities like Typhoon Maring in the north of Luzon. Maybe we didn't feel it so much here in Metro Manila, but many people uh, have been uh, devastated by the effects of Typhoon Maring. So we'd like to help some Christmas, send some Christmas cheer, some Christmas help to the communities there. So I hope you remind your parents about that uh, so that you can make a family contribution to charity in the spirit of Christmas. So I hope you all stay healthy and safe and uh, look forward to a meaningful celebration of Christmas next month. The Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the God of all consolation bless you, for in his unfathomable goodness, he created the human race, and in the resurrection of his only begotten Son, he has given believers the hope of rising again. Amen. To us who are alive, may God grant pardon for our sins, and to all the dead, a place of light and peace. Amen. So may we all live happily forever with Christ, whom we believe 
truly rose from the dead. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you and those you love, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord through your families, your friends, and all the people you encounter. Thanks be to God. For our final song, let us all together sing, I will sing forever. And I will sing forever.